Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed about set and reset coils. So today, in this video, we are going to discuss about memory bits. In programmable logic controllers, a memory bit refers to a discrete memory location used to store a binary state. These are often used for representing digital inputs or outputs. Input memory area stores the current state of the digital inputs connected to the PLC. These memory bits play a crucial role in the execution of the control logic and the monitoring of inputs as well as outputs. By utilizing memory bits, a PLC can capture and retain information about the current and desired states of inputs as well as outputs. So, we will move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder logic and use memory bits. We will open EcoStructure Machine Expert. We will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then we will go to configuration tab where we will select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers having different configurations. For now I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. So the logic controller I am using is TM221C24R. Here is a device description. It has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line. 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus, ASC II, TMS 2GDB, or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. For now, I will select it as TMS 2GDB and then I will click on Apply. Then I will go to Programming tab. So here we will draw a ladder logic and use memory bits. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode. And I can also zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out like this. So here I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. I will assign address to the contact I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. And then I will also add symbol as input 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M0. And then symbol as memory 1. Yes. And then I will add a new rung here and insert normally open contact and a coil. Now I will assign address to the contact as M0 that is memory 1 and address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0. 
I will add symbol to the coil as output 1. Yes. So here, when input 1 is on, memory 1 is on. And when memory 1 is on, output 1 is on. So here, memory 1, that is a memory bit, stores the data of input, input 1. And then, when memory 1 is true, output 1 is also true. We will exit full screen mode here and compile the program. And then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator. We will start controller then. To do so, click OK. So here, as you can see, when I turn on input 1, memory 1 gets true, and when memory 1 gets true, output 1 gets true. So here, this memory bit stores the data of input, that is input 1, and in turn, it is used to turn on output 1. Then we will stop simulator and then we will go to programming. We will click on full screen mode here and zoom into it. Then we will add a new rank here and insert normally open contact and a coil. Then I will assign address to the contact as output as Q 0, 0.0, that is output 1. So here I am using output as input. Now I will assign address to the coil as M1. I will also add symbol as memory 2. Yes. And then I will add a new rank here and insert a normally open contact and a coil. I will assign address to the contact as M1, that is memory 2. And I will also assign address to the coil as Q 0.1. I will add symbol as output 2. Yes. So here, when input 1 is on, memory 1 gets true. So memory 1 stores data, stores discrete data of input that is 0 or 1. When input 1 is 0, memory 1 stores input as 0. When input 1 is 1, then memory 1 stores input as 1. And when, when memory 1 is true, then output 1 will be true. So here, memory bit is used to store data of input. And then here, when memory 1 is true, output 1 is true. And then, when output 1 is true, memory 2 gets true. So here, this memory bit, that is memory 2, stores the data of output. It stores discrete data of output, whether the output 1 is true or false, whether output 1 is 1 or 0. And when output 1 is true, Memory 2 stores data as true and in turns turns output 2 as true. So, a memory bit stores data of input as well as outputs. 
we will exit full screen mode here and compile the program. Then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Start controller. To do so, click OK. So here, as you can see, when input 1 is false, memory 1 stores input as false and in turn, output 1 is false. And here, memory 2 stores the data, stores output as false, which in turn results as output 2 is false. And then, when I turn on input 1, memory 1 stores data as true, which in turn turns output 1, output 1 as true. And then, when output 1 is true, memory 2 stores data of output 1 as true. And then, memory 2 turns output 2 as true. This was working of memory bits, which stores the data of inputs as well as outputs. Thank you for watching.